thanks for watching my video today let's let's uh, evaluate this or limit here limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n to the power 1 by 2 this power will be 1 by 1 okay and 1 plus 3 by n to the power oh, 1 by 3 and so on so not the 1 plus n by n this two n are not the same okay because this n are remain same but these are changing up to n times to the power 1 by n okay now let since this has a power 1 by 3 1 by 2 1 by n and so on up to 1 by n since so we want to take out that power in front of this okay meaning or this is product so we want to convert in terms of sum so we are going to take log okay let let's say p is equal to or limit this and then to infinity 1 plus 1 by n 1 plus 2 by n to the power 1 by 2 1 plus 3 by n to the power 1 by 3 and so on up to 1 plus n by n to the power 1 by n so I want to put the power in front of this okay and I want to convert this product into summation so that we can use that uh, summation of in summation in terms of uh, definite integral okay so let's take log, log p is equal to limit n tends to infinity if I take log log of 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 log of 1 plus 2 by n plus and so on so on plus 1 by n log of 1 plus n by n so we convert in terms of summation okay now we can use our summation now if i want to convert this in terms of summation what do we need sum from r equal to 1 to n 1 by n log of 1 plus r by n okay this is our summation because if you plug here r equal to 1 okay sorry this should be r 1 by r if you plug here r equal to 1 then you'll get this and so on okay now this means let's simplify more limit n tends to infinity sum from r equal to 1 to n this 1 by r i can write in as the what 1 by n into 1 by r by n okay because i want to put in terms of r by n so that this n and this n cancel out n 1 by r is remain the same 1 plus r by n now we are going to put now in our integral form okay now replace limit and tends to infinity summation by this integral when r when r tends to 1 okay when this r tends to 1 here we have r by n will tends to what because n is n tends to infinite so this will tends to 0 and when r tends to n then r by n will tends to 1 this is we are going to plug from 0 to 1 this come out from this summation okay and one we are going to replace 1 by n by dx and 1 by r by n by what r by n by x okay 1 by x into log of 
1 plus r by n by x okay into 1 by n is by dx this is so all log p will be integral from 0 to 1 1 over x and log of 1 plus x you can check out my video it is nothing but x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x4 by 4 plus and so on dx or you can use summation or something okay? so log p will be integral from 0 to 1 if you plug here you get 1 minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 minus x cube by 4 plus and so on this is so all log p will be if you integrate this you get x minus x square by 2 into 2 plus x cube by 3 into 3 this 3 is coming out from this and this 3 is integration of x square and x4 by 4 into 4 and this will go on we will plug from 0 to 1 so our log p is if you plug here 1, 1 minus 1 by I can write this 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus and so on and this series is nothing but or eta function okay pi square over 12 meaning or log p is equal to pi square by 12 okay but we want to find out only p because p is our equation limit okay which we are going to evaluate so p will be e to the pi square by there so limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n 1 plus 2 by n to the 1 by 2 1 plus 3 by n to the 1 by 3 and so on up to 1 plus 1 uh, n by n to the power 1 by n this or last limit is nothing but e to the pi square by 12 so in in like this we can we can evaluate our limit using our integral okay?